everyone, it's Lorelai. In this episode, I wanted to go over how I made playable attacks for each of the playable characters. <laughs> uh, so what their basic attack is. They will each have their own um, actual abilities. Don't worry about that. These are just the basic attacks that you get when you are playing that character. I believe we already talked about Deirdre's, but maybe not. Uh, Deirdre's is very, very simple. I believe she has a common action to uh, begin melee attack if she is in range, in melee range with an enemy. And her attacking loop is off again. I always have these switches, these loop switches to turn on and off just to keep these common actions from spamming, <laughs> from repeating endlessly. So if there's an enemy in melee range, then she will first turn on her loop, right? And then execute a turn to enemy. Turn to enemy just looks for an object to lock on, just any sort of enemy object. If if there's um if there's a clicked instance right if there's a lock target then go ahead and lock onto that otherwise just run toward an enemy right or move toward an enemy or the locked object right you can do that and then uh, attack enemy <laughs> easy <laughs> easy stuff so attack enemy attack cooldown and I have this turn off is attacking I can't remember where that went um. I'm sure it was relevant somewhere, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe I don't need turn off is attacking. Let me, you know what? We can go look over here and see if it is down here somewhere. Aha, okay, so it's actually the attacking loop. Turn off attacking loop, not is attacking. Yes, turn off attacking loop. <laughs> it's like, what is this? <laughs> Uh, so we're turning off that loop so that we can go ahead and repeat this common action because now, th now the attacking loop is off. Okay, very simple stuff. So this is just if she is in range, then she will attack. So she can walk up to something and start smacking and etc. Right? Nothing, nothing special here. The other characters are all ranged characters. And I wanted it to be so that they can shoot their ranged attack, their bullets, uh, wherever the mouse is, wherever the cursor is, rather. So let's actually go see how that looks. So I'm Nisha right now, and if I hold down the left click, he can actually shoot his arrow. And it's really hard to see, so that's frustrating here. I'll make them all <laughs> aggressive. So he will shoot, and I also needed a way to keep the Nisha, keep Nisha from click spamming. So if I click, 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 click. Okay, well, some of them sometimes get through. <laughs> some of them get through, but for the most part, it's it's pretty okay if you spam click. Ideally, you would not be spamming click. Uh, you would just be holding down left click, but, and then you can move around your mouse while holding down the left click. So I guess this click spam, I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, I could set it to, so that there's only one bullet on a sc on the screen at a time, but I don't I don't know I um I'll see I'll see what I can do. But here's what it looks like for now. Okay, so we've got um a common action. Yeah, begin attack. <laughs> He's got begin a melee attack, but I think this is just a remnant from when I copied over Deirdre because she doesn't he doesn't actually have a melee attack. So let's forget this. Uh, but we have begin attack. So if A is pressed or on press and A is left click, if you remember, and if Nisha object self is not waiting, and this is the bridge between attack and cooldown and letting go. This was my attempt at making sure you can't spam click is if that object is not waiting then you can go ahead and use this ability. But if they are waiting, then you can't use this ability. But I guess that's not really working very well. <laughs> so maybe ignore this. But this is just so that I'll show you over here. Wait. After they shoot, they should be stuck in wait. Um, maybe I just have to make the time. I, I have to make the time go a little longer uh, to make sure that you can't spam the left click. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, so there's a uh, if left clicked, right? If we're if we're clicking left, then go ahead and uh, aim. You can aim, and that's this guy. So aim has no movement. I turned off movement here, and he is turning toward the cursor object. He's turning toward the cursor object, but he's not moving because he doesn't have any speed. So he's just turning toward it. And with this one, and if A is still pressed. Okay, not on press, but continued to be pressed. 
then go ahead and shoot. And shoot is just an attack animation with a fire bullet. That is his arrow down here. After he shoots, I'm pretty sure uh, this one is set to after a tenth of a second has passed. I did have it set to if motion animation plays to the end, but that made it so that the spam click definitely didn't work. Let's see how that, if I spam click, yeah, then the, the spam click like definitely doesn't work. Uh, but if I have it so that a tenth of a second has passed, then the spam click kind of works. <laughs> kind of works. Click, 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 click. Doesn't work very well. But again, I'm still figuring that out. Anyway, you have to wait, right? You got to wait in between shooting and aiming. So we've got a tenth of a second. So now we're in wait and wait. Actually, we're not doing anything. We're idle. We're not moving. Uh, and then we have two ways to exit wait. You can wait <laughs> uh, 0.4 seconds before you can aim and shoot again. Uh, or if any of these are pressed, if any movement is pressed, then you can exit wait, you can exit this whole basic attack and go straight to idle. And that helped it so that you weren't kind of stuck in the animation lock. And if you wanted to run, if you wanted to walk uh, before it was really clunky without this. So now if you're in this wait, you can you can run back uh, to idle. And I don't have to do that for aim because aim is so fast. Aim is just quickly goes back to shoot if A is still pressed. So weight was the only one that was causing that issue and causing the clunky issue. So very simple. This is very simple. And I, I know that I'm going to have to change this um, by a lot, especially to fix the spam. So for Belle, if I hold down left click, she's got her own little bullet here, right? And then if I spam left click, it's like it like it spams for a little bit, but then it it doesn't. So I have a feeling it has something to do with either how fast I click. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Uh, they're fighting in the wall. That's not good. <laughs> That's definitely not good. So I will fix that at some point, too. Uh, but this video was just about how I got this to work, got shooting to work while holding down left click. Simple stuff, uh, obviously not working very well, but working for the time being. <laughs> and my next step is to give them all actual abilities. Um, that will be very fun. That'll be fun. That being said, I have been posting these videos every other day pretty consistently, uh, but now I'm at the point where I think things are gonna take much longer to do and to figure out. So there might be a delay in uh, getting these videos out to you. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that happens. <laughs> But that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you might have learned something. If you have ideas about this, you can let me know. But this uh, video is actually set to release in like a week and a half <laughs> from when I'm recording this. So um, I might have figured it out, but you can go ahead and comment anyway. You know, I'm really interested to hear what you have to, what your ideas are. It might be better than my idea. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.